Hey guys, we're going to talk about how to prepare for the Law of Conservation of Mass Lab, the open and closed system. Uh, first off, we got a couple materials to look through. We got the baking soda in the red cup. Um, I'll make sure vinegar is available to you. Uh, you'll have a balloon. This is a flask, cup, and a spoon. I want to talk about the open system, the procedure A. Uh, real quickly, it's going to say weigh 20 grams. We got to make that change from 10 to 20. Weigh 20 grams of baking soda on your coffee filter. So before you begin, we have the triple beam balance here. You want to make sure it's calibrated. So when it's at zero, you can see the little line here is um, it's equal with the zero. Uh, and if not, just call one of us over and we can um, calibrate it. So what you're going to want to do, the easiest way to do that is to move the 10 marker to the 20. Make sure it clicks into position. Get your coffee filter there and start pouring some baking soda until it starts evening out. And this lab will be a lot easier if you have two people in there. Yes, you can see I'm alone, uh, but I'm going to do the best I can to get it to even out. All right, so that's going to have to be close enough there. So you get your 20 grams. Record that in your chart. 20 grams. Then it says to measure 50 milliliters of vinegar in your plastic cup. Set this aside. So you got your flask. You're going to measure that up to 50. Pour it into your plastic cup. Weigh your cup with the vinegar on your balance beam. So you're going to go ahead and put that cup right on there and weigh it. Now it might take a couple seconds to find the exact weight. Once you figure it out, you're going to record it. Looks like 52 grams to be close enough there, vinegar and cup, 52 grams. Next table, combine weight before mixing in. So you got 20 plus 52, that's going to give me 72 grams. Once you have all your materials weighed out, you're going to mix them together. Go ahead and take it off the balance beam. Pour your contents in. It may bubble over and that's okay. Once the reaction's done, you're gonna weigh it again. And to see what the weight is, that'll be that column. And then finally the last box, you're going to uh, see the difference before and after the reaction. Part B is very similar to part A. Uh, you're still gonna weigh the 20 grams of baking soda in your coffee filter and set that aside. This time you're gonna pour the, coffee, the uh, baking soda into a balloon. So you're gonna have your partner stretch out the balloon, try not to rip it, and just take a spoon and pour some of the baking soda in there. Record the combined weight of the balloon and baking soda in your chart. So with your baking soda in the balloon, you'll put it on your triple beam balance. You get an accurate weight of that. Number four, measure 50 milliliters of vinegar in your flasks. Once again, you'll take some vinegar, measure it in your flasks, weigh that flask on your balance beam, set it aside, record that on your chart. Now, now step seven, carefully stretch the balloon out over the mouth of your flask. Do not pour the contents of the balloon into the vinegar yet. So some of you can predict what's about to happen. Stretch open the uh, balloon over the mouth of the flask. Make sure the contents are hanging to the side. And then once you're ready, number eight, place the flask of vinegar and balloon with the baking soda on the balance beam. You're gonna get a combined weight here. Record that. And then finally, you will lift the balloon up. The contents will pour into the flask and the balloon's gonna blow up. We have a closed system going on, so we shouldn't see much in the way of mass escaping or uh, changing at all. And that will conclude the experimental part of your lab, and then you will take care of the analysis and conclusion and the questions at the end. We will take two days to do this lab, uh, so, but do make sure you get the experimental part done today. And then combine weight after mixing. So you're going to mix it, observe, and see if there's a difference. So we're probably gonna, not going to want to have it spill all over the uh, balance beam.